Atlantic Broadband Channel 10 Sports Presentation is brought to you by Century 21 Cover Bridges Realty Incorporated, featuring award-winning agents ready to sell or list your home or business and serving Columbia, Montour, and Lower Luzerne Counties. The Central Susquehanna Community Foundation, a regional philanthropic organization whose mission is quality of life in the Central Susquehanna Valley and achieving donors' intentions. First Columbia Bank and Trust. Does it really make a difference where you bank? It does if your bank makes a difference. First Columbia Bank, with you and your children every step of the way. The 163rd Annual Bloomsburg Fair. Gates open at 2 p.m. on preview day, Friday, September 21st. Toyota Grandstand tickets for all shows available at bloomsburgfair.com. The Bloomsburg Fair, September 21st through 29th. Yannick Real Estate. Your hometown full-service real estate office located in Berwick, specializing in residential, commercial, land listings, and property management services. And by Atlantic Broadband, your television, internet, and phone provider for the greater Berwick and western Poconos as well as portions of Schuylkill County. Find out about the exciting Atlantic Broadband services available to you at AtlanticBB.com. Welcome to Atlantic Broadband Channel 10's coverage of high school sports. It's the kickoff to the 2018 fall season, and we've got the Abington Heights Comets at the Berwick Area Bulldogs. You can't ask for a better way to start the season. The sun is out, about 78 degrees game time temperature. Again, you can't ask for uh, any better of a day. Let us go ahead and take a look at the uh, rosters. Abington Heights right here. Last season they went 1-10 and 10 overall, so not one of their better seasons. They're hoping to turn things around this year. Going to watch for number 10, George Tinsley, the quarterback, and also their fullback, Noah Braid, number 44, and Robbie Horvath, number 2, also in on the mix right there. Still more to their team here. Large, large team they have. Joe uh, Repsius is the head coach, longtime head coach of the Abington Heights football program. And our thanks to Randy Hanyan, who is actually standing next to us here at high atop the uh, Crispin Field in Berwick for helping to get this information to you. On to the Berwick area Bulldogs. They are 10 and 2 last year, averaging 31 points per game. Uh, and uh, you're going to want to look for Alex Force, the quarterback, number two. Also, Tegan Wilk, number seven, figures to be prominent in the offense this season. Uh, and Owen Shoemaker, the running back, number 39. And here's the rest of the Berwick Area Bulldogs. Head coach is Frank Shaptock, doing a great job with the team. Got him into the playoffs last season. And Frank is also the athletic director for the Berwick Area Bulldogs. So we thank him for all the information. While we're waiting for the uh, kickoff, we did get a chance to talk with uh, Coach Sheptock about his team, and uh, we asked him about the 2018 edition of the Berwick Area Bulldogs. Well, I think you're going to see a team that plays with great effort and passion. Uh, we've had a great offseason. I've been very pleased with how the boys have approached things with, you know, trying to improve every day and taking a great deal of pride in, you know, building our team from a unity standpoint as well as, well as themselves individually. So when you see that type of progression made in the offseason, you're really excited to kick the 2018 season off. You've lost a lot of starters from last year. Uh, who's replacing and what are we going to see next? Well, definitely we have a lot of places to replace. Uh, offensively, we lose a couple big offensive linemen. We lose a lot of offensive production. But that's the neat thing. You know, uh, young men see the opportunity that, you know, there's some spots open and they work very hard and we've had some great competitions. Uh, Owen Shoemaker has done very well at running back. Alex Force and Ryan Lobaugh, Peyton Williams at the quarterback position. You know, Alex Sharkusky, Jared Groshek, Jake Betts, Jake Seeley. You know, a lot of faces that didn't get a lot of time on offense last year, but very talented and very dynamic group. So I think that you'll see a lot of offensive production from that standpoint. I think we're as deep on the offensive line since I've been here. We feel we have nine young men that could go out there and play at any point. So feel very confident about that. Defense, we have a little bit more back. We have the box. 
uh, defensive line, inside linebackers, free safety. You know, we're going to be very experienced there. I think it'll be one of the strengths of our football team. The perimeter, we got to figure out a little bit. We'll be young at corner. Uh, they'll get challenged a little bit early. But again, very athletic, long, lean, running the ball well, excited about our potential there. Probably biggest question mark is how our kicking game will go. You know, big loss in Kenneth Marshman. Uh, we have some young men kicking. Jake Betts, uh, Alex Sharkusky punning, um, Misael Hernandez, Jared Groshek, and Cody Smith battling at the kicking position. A lot of talent there. We just have to get them game proven. Uh, first game is Abbekin Heights. What do we know about them? A uh, very tra uh, traditionally strong program. I mean, they've won six district championships through Coach Repsius's era, you know, which is extremely impressive. You know, that resume that you could really put up against any of the District 2 programs over the last decade. So a lot of respect for Coach Repsius. I think you'll see a very strong fundamentally team, a team that's coached extremely well and plays extremely hard. And I think that any time you have a tradition-rich program like we have here in Berwick, those young men will play with a lot of pride and a lot of passion. All right, there's Coach Shep Talk as the Berwick Bulldogs get out onto the field to uh, begin the 2018 season. Abington Heights across the field from us, and what we're going to do is take our first break and get your sponsors noticed before we get to the uh, opening kickoff of Abington Heights at Berwick right here on Atlantic Broadband. Channel 10. Why call Century 21? Because personal makes a difference. At Century 21, caring for our clients and community are essential in providing personal service. We know where you're coming from, and the places you call home are the places we call home, too. Better pick the power of personal. Why call Century 21? Because powerful counts. Powerful means 111,000 associates in 78 countries and one right here in our neck of the woods. Powerful brings insight on zoning, construction, and restrictions. Stuff you need help with. It's the biggest financial investment of your life. Better pick Powerful. Does it really make a difference where you bank? It does if your bank makes a difference. First Columbia Bank is making a difference every day in the communities we serve. As your community bank, we know the value of investing in our young people, supporting academics, Athletics and the arts are just a few of the ways First Columbia encourages personal growth and success. Our children are the hope for the future, and we are committed to helping them succeed. First Columbia Bank, with you and your children, every step of the way. The Central Susquehanna Community Foundation is a regional philanthropic organization with over 200 charitable funds, including the Berwick Health and Wellness Fund. From those funds, more than $2.2 million in grant monies is awarded annually to local nonprofits and students to promote education, health and wellness, self-sustainability, recreation, and more. Recently accredited with the National Standards for U.S. Community Foundations for having the highest standards for philanthropic excellence, the Central Susquehanna Community Foundation is here for you. For good, forever. Yonick Real Estate is your hometown full-service real estate office located at 1232 West Front Street, Berwick. They specialize in residential, commercial, and land listings and property management services. The associates of Yonick Real Estate work with a sincere desire to fulfill all of your real estate needs. Our mission is to be there for you 100% through the entire process and leave a lasting impression of a job well done. Come and make yourself at home at Yonick Real Estate. Plan now to attend the 163rd Annual Bloomsburg Fair. Gates open at 2 p.m. on Preview Day, Friday, September 21st. Enjoy the incredible nightly entertainment all week long. Get your tickets at bloomsburgfair.com or charge by phone. Call 570-387-4145 for the Toyota Grandstand Pavilion Ticket Office. Don't miss the fairy tale adventure in the Horticulture Building. It's guaranteed to be a fair to remember. It's the 163rd Annual Bloomsburg Fair, September 21st through the 29th. Details on Facebook or at bloomsburgfair.com. Hard to believe it's almost fair time. Hard to believe it's uh, fall and the kickoff to the high school football season is about to get underway. Berwick kicking off to Abington Heights. Number four, Jarrett Groshek getting the kicking honor. As you heard Coach Shep talk say they were going to try a few people out. Well, Groshek gets the call this evening. And Abington Heights winds up out there at about the 20-yard line. Out close to the 20-yard line. First 
first and ten from the Comet 20. Handoff to uh, Noah Braid. Noah Braid, number 44, left side carry. Montez, Law Ball, and J.J. Snyder on the tackle. Second and nine. Pass. Caught by number two, Robbie Horvath. Tinsley on the completion to Out there Horvath. to about the 34-yard uh, line. And Abington Heights is off to a quick start here this evening. First and ten. Nice job by Tinsley. Finds that open man, Robbie Horvath. First and ten for Abington Heights. And Berwick's Mason Lawbaugh jumps the gun a little bit. And that will move the Comets ahead five yards. It'll be first and five for the Abington Heights Comets as we get underway here in Berwick. This is the season opener for both of these teams. George Tinsley, a quarterback for the Comets. Quick handoff and knockdown. Noah Braid gets nowhere quick on that one. Defense for Berwick. Braid on the carry. Stop Covers it up quick. By number 72, Ben Peck. Loss of the yard. Second and six. And you see right there as Braid runs into a wall. Benjamin Peck credited with the takedown on that one. Second and six. Hit for a bit of a loss. George Tensley, quarterback for the Comets. Noah Braid in the back. Some movement on the right side. Cross the middle and a catch. And a great run. Take down at the 25-yard line by number seven, Tegan Wilk. Caught by number 88, Mike Malone. And the Comets are off to a blazing start here early in the season. Rushing back to the line. The Ball at the 25-yard line. Here comes a snap to Tinsley. He will hand that one off to Braid. Braid tries to go outside. Not going to get there. Let's step it back a little bit. George Tinsley taking the snap here. From the uh, 33. Goes across the middle. Hits Mike Malone. Wide open in the center of the field. And he has passed the 35 down to the 30 and brought down finally at the 35-yard line. Last play, no gain. We're at the 24-yard line. Second and 10. Tinsley to throw. Going for the end zone. And that one is overshot. Intended is a Corey Perkins. Well guarded there by uh, Preston Robbins of Berwick. That'll bring up a third down and ten. So an impressive start. For uh, these. Third and ten from the Berwick 24. Abington Height Comets. Third and ten now. Pressure. Tinsley in trouble looking. Tucks it back in. Decides to go for it himself. And he is going to get nowhere. Bounce backwards. Stays on his feet. A nice attempt. By George Tinsley. In the end, though, he won't get much out of that. It'll bring up a fourth down. And they're going to have to punt that one away. Tinsley right here. Back to throw. Nobody open. Then the pressure from Berwick coming in. 
Tinsley comes to his left, tries to run through, runs into some traffic, caught from behind there by Mason Lawbaugh, bounces off another Berwick player, finally brought down by number nine, Blaine Cleaver. Back to punt at the 50. Punt is away. Takes a roll, and it will be downed at about the 18-yard line by number 46, Matt Lestoskis. And Burrock will get their first chance at offense here for the 2018 season. No score. 8.08 left to go in the first quarter. Abington Heights off to a really good start there, but just couldn't finish it. Got down as far as the 24. And then everything came to a grinding halt. Alex Force at quarterback for the Berwick Bulldogs. He will hand this one off. And the Abington Heights defense on the first and he's for a loss. stops him cold for a bit of a loss. Here's Coach Sheptock. on that initial stop. Loss of one, second and 11. Owen second Schumacher on the two, carry. Walls into a wall 15. of Comets hit in the backfield right there for a loss. Burwick with the ball. Hand off again. Schumacher gets through. Gets some of those yards back. Shoemaker on the carry right side. Tackled by Mike Pusateri. Finds a little bit of a gap right there out past the 20. Brought it down. That'll bring up a uh, third. Third and six. Six right now. Alex Force, the quarterback for the Bulldogs. And a handoff to Tegan Wilk. Looking to go around the corner and... Swept up by number 14, Corey Perkins in the backfield. And that'll bring up a fourth down. Burrow going to have to punt this one away. 6.45 to go in the first quarter. Want a copy of this game on DVD? We do make them available. for $25 each. Email us at dfarley at atlanticbb.com. dfarley at atlanticbb.com. And I will email you back in order form. Send it in with your payment. And we'll get you that DVD ASAP. Berwick to punt. Kick is away. Back around the 40. Over the midfield. And Corey Perkins is brought Corey down Perkins at the 46-yard line. And that's where the Comets will get back to work. 46. First and 10 for the Comets. So Abington Heights off to a quick start in our first possession. They managed to get all the way down to about the 24-yard line of Berwick before being stopped by the uh, defense. See what they can do this time. George Tinsley, the quarterback. Quick handoff and a drop. And a good save by Noah Braid. Handoff wasn't quite there. Recovered by the Braid Comets. recovered his own fumble. And they'll lose about a half a yard on that particular play. Loss of one. Second and 11 from the Berwick 47. If you check the handoff here, you can see it just never quite got into the uh, bread basket, if you will. Bounced right out of his arms. But a heads up play by Noah Braid to maintain possession. Second and 11 now for the Comets of Abington Heights. Season opener for both of these teams. And our first game of the season as well here on Atlantic Broadband 10. George Tinsley, the quarterback, takes the snap, being chased. Screens it out, and unable to get a handle on that is number 88, Mike Malone. Mike Malone caught a massive pass in their first possession, got them all the way down into scoring range. From the Berwick 47. So a nice idea by Tinsley being pursued by the Berwick defense. Quick turn to the right and a screen. But Malone 
return before he actually had the ball in his hands. Incomplete third and 11 with 5.32 to play here in the first quarter. Back to the line of scrimmage. Tinsley the snap. Fakes the throw. Takes off with it. And he is brought down quickly by number nine, Blaine Cleaver. And that will end the second series for the Comets. They'll get maybe two yards on that one. Heads up play by Blaine Cleaver to stop the Comets in their tracks. Here you can see George Tinsley taking the snap. Quick fake the throw. Sees the gap, takes off, but Blaine Cleaver sees it as well. Nice leg tackle. Fourth and eight, and the Comets will have to punt away. Short kick, takes a Comet roll. And a pickup by Tegan Wilk, and Wilk is off to the races. He is going all the way in for a Berwick touchdown. And a big flag comes out. Taunting will be more likely the call. Two flags, as you hear, on the field. Referees are going to have to sort this one out. Tegan Wilk with a heads-up play. As... Uh, play is being called back. Abington Heights let the ball roll. They are going to bring it back. Waiting for the head referee to give us the call. Penalty flag standing at the Berwick 37 yards on. And an illegal block against Berwick. Illegal block. 10 yard penalty being marked back from the 38. So that's where the infraction was at the 38 yard line. But here's what happened. The ball is rolling, and Tegan Wilk says, I'm just going to grab the ball anyway. He takes with it, takes off with it, heads up field. And right about the 38-yard line, there's a block in the back right there. But Tegan Wilk was off to the races at that point. Other than that block, that would have been a Burbank touchdown and the first score of the game as it was. It is going to be called back to the 38-yard line where there was an infraction, and they're going to say there was taunting. They're adding on a second infraction, taunting after the score. So celebration apparently is not allowed after you score, or excessive celebration anyway. Referees didn't like what they saw. So Burwick got two infractions, so now instead of having a touchdown, they wind up with the ball back at their own 38-yard line. And... An extra penalty on top of that pushes them back even further. Taunting in the end zone. Here's the very end of that play by Tegan Wilk. He will cross. And something about the way he turned. 434 remaining first quarter. Didn't strike the uh, referee quite right. The flags flew. So Burbank has the ball now back at the 13-yard line. 14-yard line, first and 10. Handoff to Schumacher, who goes to work, working it outside, brought down at about the 25-yard line. Owen Schumacher on the carry. Should be enough for a first down. Gain of 11 yards and a break, first down, out to the 25. Nice run by Owen Schumacher. Handoff there from uh, Alex Force. Schumacher working it outside. Finally brought down Schumacher again, getting the call. Owen oh, Schumacher on the carry. Tackle by number 88, Mike Malone. Gain of two. Second and eight from the Berwick 27. Gary Kreischer, the field announcer here at Crispin Field. You'll be hearing him throughout the game. Another handoff to Shoemaker. Shoemaker loses the ball. It rolls forward. 
and initially it looked like it was Abington Heights who fell on the ball. Bulldogs recover. But they say recovered by the Bulldogs. 32 yard line. Handoff from Alex Forrest to Schumacher. They Schumacher stripped right there. Ball rolls forward. It looked like Abington Heights had it, but a Berwick Bulldog got on there and took it away. Berwick maintains possession, third and three. Screen out to the near side of the field. And turning up and stepping out of bounds right there was number five, Alex Sharkusky. There'll be no touchdown. Definitely stepped out of bounds as he was about midfield. But it is a first down for the Berwick Bulldogs. Who are starting to get into a rhythm. There's the screen to Sharkusky. He turns it upfield. Good block. Right there he stepped out of bounds. Ball is back at the 48-yard uh, line. First and 10 for Berwick. Alex Force, a quarterback, another handoff to Shoemaker, who gets over midfield. Gets about three yards on that carry. Owen Shoemaker on the first Just in case you carry. missed it, right here, you'll see the step Callahan, out of bounds right there. The Gain of three, second and seven. Other than that, From the Comet 49. that would have been the first score of the game. 2.32 to play here in the first quarter. Dallas Schachterly coming into the game, number 36. And now with second and seven, Coach Sheptock wants to talk to his team. So they'll be taking a break, and we'll take a break as well. Here's a word from Century 21 Covered Bridges Realty. Why call Century 21? Because personal makes a difference. At Century 21, caring for our clients and community are essential in providing personal service. We know where you're coming from, and the places you call home are the places we call home, too. Better pick the power of personal. Why call Century 21? Because powerful counts. Powerful means 111,000 associates in 78 countries and one right here in our neck of the woods. Powerful brings insight on zoning, construction, and restrictions. Stuff you need help with. It's the biggest financial investment of your life. Better pick Powerful. Welcome back to famed Crispin Field in Berwick, where the Abington Heights Comets are visiting the Berwick Bulldogs in the season opener for both teams. No score at this point. 2.24 to play in the first quarter. Berwick has the ball at the 49-yard uh, line of Abington Heights. It'll be second down and seven. Coach Sheptock called a timeout to get the team together. And they're about to get started again. No score. Resume play second and seven. Alex Force at quarterback for Berwick. Number two, second and seven play. There is the snap and a handoff to uh, Shoemaker who bolts forward. Struggle for the ball oh, after the fact. Right side carry, close to the first down. And that That's is gonna be good enough for a first down. You the see the referee coming out to uh, check. First down. So the Bulldogs will keep things moving forward. First and 10, Owen Shoemaker. 42. So far getting the call of duty. Gets enough there for a first down. First and 10 for Berwick. Wilk in motion. Shoemaker again breaking through. Staying on his feet. Getting knocked down. Owen Shoemaker up the gut. Gain of nine. Out near first down territory. Owen Shoemaker again. Breaking a tackle or two along the way. Second and one from the Comet 33. Nine yard gain. Ball is at the 33 yard line. Second and one for Berwick. 135 to play in the first quarter. Still no score. And Berwick is going to have to burn. Another timeout, some confusion on the field. And there is Coach Shaptock right there, wants to uh, talk to his team again. And they'll figure it out. 
We'll be back with more Abington Heights at Berwick football right here on Atlantic Broadband Channel 10. Does it really make a difference where you bank? It does if your bank makes a difference. First Columbia Bank is making a difference every day in the communities we serve. As your community bank, we know the value of investing in our young people. Supporting academics, athletics, and the arts are just a few of the ways First Columbia encourages personal growth and success. Our children are the hope for the future, and we are committed to helping them succeed. First Columbia Bank, with you and your children every step of the way. Welcome back, Abington Heights at Berwick High School football. No score. Berwick burning their second time out here in the first half. A little confusion on the field, and Coach Sheptock is out there talking to them right now, trying to get everybody on the same page. If you want a copy of this game on DVD, just email us at dfarley at atlanticbb.com. dfarley at atlanticbb.com, and then we'll get a uh, order form out to you, and then get that DVD. All right, one. second Over and one for Burek Alex Force at quarterback for the Burek Bulldogs. And a handoff this time. It's Tegan Wilk. He's got a gap. And look at it. Turn on the speed. Breaks through. All the way in. And a touchdown. Berwick. Berwick scoring first in this matchup with Abington Heights. Six to nothing. Berwick Bulldogs on a 33-yard run by Tegan Wilk. They're going to set up for the extra point. That is Jarrett Groshek kicking. Jarrett Groshek for the point after a seven. Kick is up, and it is good. Berwick gets on board first, courtesy of a 33-yard touchdown run by Tegan Wilk. Little bobble. As he gets the handoff, takes it to the outside, gets in some trouble, breaks it inside. Breaks through two tackles right there. Players run into each other, and he waltzes into the end zone. Berwick is out in front in this one. 7-0 with 124 left to play in the first quarter. The Central Susquehanna Community Foundation is a regional philanthropic organization with over 200 charitable funds, including the Berwick Health and Wellness Fund. From those funds, more than $2.2 million in grant monies is awarded annually to local nonprofits and students to promote education, health and wellness, self-sustainability, recreation, and more. Recently accredited with the National Standards for U.S. Community Foundations for having the highest standards for philanthropic excellence, the Central Susquehanna Community Foundation is here for you. For good, forever. Back to action. Berwick on the board. 7-0 the score, and here is the ensuing kickoff. Deep back about the five-yard line. Comets number uh, 14, Corey Perkins. Doesn't get Corey too far. Fielding the kickoff at his four-yard line. Returns it out. And one more look at that touchdown run by the Berwick Bulldogs. A uh, handoff from Alex Force to Tegan Wilk who maintains possession, bobbled it when he got the handoff initially. Then he breaks through a couple of trackles, tackles and waltzes into the end zone. Extra point is good. It's 7-0. Berwick on top with 1.17 to play here in the first quarter. Comets looking to get back into this. George Tinsley, the quarterback for the Abington Heights Comets, and he will hand that off to Noah Braid. Braid working outside, and he is met by number 10, Ryan Lawbaugh, and I believe number 9, Noah Blaine Braid Cleaver. On the left side carry. Tackle for a three yard loss by Blaine Cleaver and Ryan Lawbaugh. Second and 13 from the 19. So Braid, as you heard, tried to get back to the line of scrimmage, had to work it outside, couldn't do it. Good defensive effort by the Berwick Bulldogs. Second and 13 now. Tinsley back to throw. Looking across the middle. Caught. Quickly brought down. 
by Tegan Wilk was number two, Robbie Horvath. Pass is completed to number two, Robbie Horvath. Tegan Wilk defending it on the tackle. Gain of nine. Third and four. Nine yard gain as you heard. 28. Our and first now comes to a conclusion. That will be Bruins the end seven. of the first quarter. And this was the final play. Back with the second quarter after this. You're watching high school football, Abington Heights at Berwick, right here on Atlantic Broadband 10. Yannick Real Estate is your hometown full-service real estate office located at 1232 West Front Street, Berwick. They specialize in residential, commercial, and land listings and property management services. The associates of Yannick Real Estate work with a sincere desire to fulfill all of your real estate needs. Our mission is to be there for you 100% through the entire process and leave a lasting impression of a job well done. Come and make yourself at home at Yannick Real Estate. Welcome back, Abington Heights at Berwick. The second quarter about to get underway. Abington Heights has the ball. It'll be third and four from their own 28 yard line when they get back into action. The referees have finally figured a few things out. They were having some discussions out there. Still looks like they're discussing a few things. Yes, they are. Don't shake your head no. Good crowd on hand for this game tonight. Again, about 78 degrees at the start of the game. Sun is out. After all this crummy weather we've had for the last few weeks, this feels great. Quick pass. And unable to get to it there is Connor Newman. And that will bring up a fourth down and four for the Abington Heights Comets. They're going to have to punt this one away. Brian Lawball defending on the play. Fourth and four. And the Comets will punt this time of the night there's some shadows coming across the field so half the field is lit up the other half is not Zach Borsma back to a punt at the 15 gets the kick away and it is down at the uh, 43 yard line and that is where the Berwick Bulldogs will get to work. They now lead in this game, courtesy of a 33-yard run by Tegan Wilk. They had two other touchdown runs called back by penalties or stepping out of bounds. First and 10 for the Bulldogs. First and 10. Again, you're going to be able to watch this game on YouTube. Uh, we're hoping to get a few of these games on live from Crispin Field or wherever we can get a good connection. Uh, this one wasn't live. Uh, we had some internet connection problems. So we'll fix that for you and get that ready to go for the next time. Our next scheduled sportscast for the fall is Pittston at Berwick. That'll be next Friday. That will tape it. It'll be on next Saturday night. Screen out to Wilk. Well read by number 14, Corey Perkins. Tegan Wilk. Maybe a half a yard on that. Left side screen. Tackled at the line of scrimmage on a nice defensive play by Alex Force. 15, Corey Perkins. No Out game. to Tegan Wilk. Tries to turn it up field, but it is uh, Corey Perkins right there to bring him down quickly. Second and 10, no gain. Second quarter action. Berwick out in front, 7 0 in this one. Alex Force at quarterback and a handoff to Shoemaker, who breaks three. Out past the 40 to 35, down at about the 34-yard line. Owen Shoemaker. About a 20-yard run by Owen Shoemaker. At the Comet 34. Quick handoff. Again from the 44. Gets his 10 there, breaks free. And finally, drug down by number nine, Connor Newman. First and 10 for Berwick. Dallas Shackerley coming into the game for Berwick. 
And forces back to throw. Kind of tipped up and caught. And down to about the 15-yard line. Caught there by number 80. Tackled at the 25 for a Burlick. Number 90, actually. William Decker, tight end. Check that to the 15. First down to the 15-yard line. Again, Alex Force back to throw. And Will Decker is open right there. Takes the ball down to the 15 for being brought down. Back to live action now. A pitch out to uh, Blake Maurer, who doesn't get anything on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage, and we have a player down. Having tonight's Mike Malone on the tackle. And we have so there's an injury timeout now once again. So here is uh, Alex Force getting pressured, gets the ball Time away, nearly the tipped away there by Abington Heights. But it is Will Decker who winds up down at the 15-yard uh, line. It'll be second and 10 when we come back. Ten minutes to play in the first half. Plan now to attend the 163rd Annual Bloomsburg Fair. Gates open at 2 p.m. on Preview Day, Friday, September 21st. Enjoy the incredible nightly entertainment all week long. Get your tickets at bloomsburgfair.com or charge by phone. Call 570-387-4145 for the Toyota Grandstand Pavilion Ticket Office. Don't miss the fairy tale adventure in the Horticulture Building. It's guaranteed to be a fair to remember. It's the 163rd Annual Bloomsburg Fair, September 21st through the 29th. Details on Facebook or at bloomsburgfair.com. And we're back to action. Player was able to get off the field. Second and ten now for the Berwick Bulldogs. Forrest in the handoff. I believe that's to Shoemaker. Shoemaker squares it off. Gets uh, three or four yards on that carry. That'll bring up a uh, third. Shoemaker on the carry. And seven maybe. Trying to adjust our color scheme for you here. Kevin Drake on Again, this tackle. time of the night. Crazy things happen out there when you're in the world of photography and videography. Schumacher with a uh, long but short run. Schumacher again, bursting through. Stays on his feet, and he's in for a Berwick touchdown. Schumacher Owen Schumacher. First touchdown for him of the 2018 season. And Berwick goes up 13 to nothing here in the second quarter. Alex Forrest with the handoff. And he stays on his feet at the end, falls forward across the line. And it's a 13-0 game. Here is Jarrett Groshek for the extra point. Kick is up. And it is good. 14-0 with 9.09 to play here in the second quarter. Berwick out in front over Abington Heights. You're watching high school football on Atlantic Broadband Channel 10. Say hello to the new neighbor on the block. Say hello to even more of the entertainment you love. Even faster internet speeds. Plus hands-on local service like never before. And it's all from your best new neighbor ever. Say hello to Atlantic Broadband. Get TV, internet, and phone like never before. Atlantic Broadband. What you want. Instantly. And we're back. Berwick going out in front, 14-0. 9.09 to play here in the first half. Here is the kickoff by Jarrett Groshek. All the way back at the two-yard line. Run back for Abington Heights by a number 26, Julian Blanco. Gets back to about the 15-yard line before he is brought down. Julian Blanco fielding his kickoff at the two. Returns it out to the... And here is the touchdown run by Owen Shoemaker. 17-yard line. From the 12-yard line. A little help from his offensive players. Burrow out in front. 
14-0. And the run back here by number 26, Julian Blanco. Tries to find a little gap there. Can't do it. Hand off. Yard or two for Abington no Heights. On the common carry. Pick up a two. Jolin. Bring up a second and eight now. Underneath on the tackle. For the Comets of Abington Heights. Again, Abington Heights. Not the best of seasons last year. Only wound up with one win. But they were averaging 13 points a game. And uh, Coach Repsius is hoping to uh, turn the team around this year. But they're meeting some stiff opposition from a uh, young but good Berwick Bulldog football team. Tinsley back in trouble. And he is going to get brought down by number 57, by Snyder. Joshua Snyder. So a heads-up play for a big loss. George Tinsley taking the snap here. And uh, Joshua Snyder bursting through. And he will bring him down at about the seven-yard line. Big loss. Third and 21 now for the Comets of Abington Heights. They are backed way up on their side of the field. There is George Tinsley, the quarterback. Takes the snap. Back to throw and a handoff. But nothing doing on that one. Handed it off to uh, Joseph Lynn. Braid on the carry. Draw. And he's tackled by the Bulldog defenders around the... No, a Braid, pardon line. me. That'll bring a fourth down. And they're going to have to punt Long this one away. Nice idea, back to throw, and then a uh, handoff to Noah Braid. Finds a little bit of a gap, but that is quickly filled by a number of Berwick defensemen. And so the drive will stall, and they're back at the 14-yard line. They're going to have to punt this one away. 6.35 to go here in the first half. Kick is away, short, drops at the 30-yard line, bounces backwards, short punt. and it will be Five Berwick's times. ball at the 27-yard line. Seven, so three. great field position for the Berwick Bulldogs. They already lead in this game 14-0, one score in the first the quarter and, and one so far here in the second. 6.25 remaining second quarter. Bulldogs coming out to the field. Alex Force, your quarterback for 2018. Looking to throw. Looking to the end zone. And nearly caught by number four, Jarrett Groshek. A kicker as well. Had it on his fingertips. Couldn't hold on to it. That would have been a, a very pretty touchdown pass. So Alex Force right here. Plenty of time. Offensive line. Keeping the Wolves away, if will, or the Comets. Right there. Had it in his hands. Just couldn't pull it in. Second and ten. Force takes the snap. Looking to throw again. Open. And finally brought down at the five-yard line is Justin Robbins. Pass from Force is completed. To so a 22 yard gain for 14 yards and a first down at the, the Berwick Bulldogs. And they uh, get to the line quickly. The nice job by Alex Force here to hold. Wide open there is Justin Robbins. He makes his way down to the five. First and five, first and goal, if you will. And a little misstep there. 
Force has to keep the ball, winds up with a bit of a loss. So again, the screen here before that by Force to uh, number eight, Justin Robbins. He weaves around, winds up down to the five yard line. Last play resulted in a two yard loss, so now it's second and goal for the Berwick Bulldogs. 5-28 to play here in the first half. Force takes a snap, screen out to Tegan Wilk. Wilk is up and dives for the end zone, and it's a touchdown, Berwick. They go out in front in this one, 20 to nothing with 5-17 to play in the first half. Force with all day. Tegan Wilk out there all by himself, takes the ball at about the 11-yard line, makes a grab for it and dives for the end zone as number nine, Connor Newman, tries to put a stop on it. But it's all for naught. Burrick comes away with the touchdown. Extra point is up, and it is good. It's a 21 to nothing game with 5.17 to play here in the first half. Abington Heights in danger of losing control in this one. Back with more after this on Atlantic Broadband Channel 10. Why call Century 21? Because personal makes a difference. At Century 21, caring for our clients and community are essential in providing personal service. We know where you're coming from, and the places you call home are the places we call home to. Better pick the power of personal. Why call Century 21? Because powerful counts. Powerful means 111,000 associates in 78 countries and one right here in our neck of the woods. Powerful brings insight on zoning, construction, and restrictions. Stuff you need help with. It's the biggest financial investment of your life. Better pick Powerful. All right, welcome back. And what you're looking at in the background there is, number one, the moon is up high in the sky. It's a full moon. And down at the bottom, that is the Atlantic Broadband building that you can see from high atop the press box here at Crispin Field. And we are getting ready to kick the ball off. Berwick coming away momentarily moments ago with their third touchdown of the game. Groshek, low kick. And that one is picked up at the 10 yard line. And Julian Blanco isn't going to get anywhere on that one. Berwick defense all over it. Some good sportsmanship right there between the two teams. Kickoff return by Julian Blanco. Jacob Seeley, Ryan Lawball on the tackle. Jacob Seeley, as you heard, on Ryan Lawball on the tackle. We'll have the ball first and 10 at their 12 yard line. Berwick. At the 17 yard. Taking this game First and 10 in stride. Now out in front, 21 0. This is Abington Heights. George Tinsley at quarterback. And a handoff to Noah Braid. Braid with a nice run, getting Noah out to Braid about the right 25 side, yard yeah. line. Picks up eight on the carry. Peyton Williams, number 19, on the tackle for the Bulldogs. Gain and Noah the Braid Second right here, turning the corner, finds that gap. And Peyton Williams, the first Berwick player to get to him. It'll be second and two. Comets line up. Tinsley looks to his left. And a handoff again to Noah Braid, who does get the first Noah down. Braid on the first down carry out to the 35. For a tackle by number nine. Needed Blaine two. Lever. First and ten for the Comets. And wound up with closer to eight on that one. First and ten for the Abington Heights Comets from their own 35-yard line. Once again, an incredibly awesome night. School started for a lot of schools this week. Most uh, schools in the area have started their schools this week. And it's also the first week of the high school football season. Tinsley a screen and an immediate hit by number 10, Ryan Lawbaugh. 
who gets up a little excited. And there's a penalty. And it's unsportsmanlike conduct against Ryan Lawball. Lawball got up excited penalty and got called for that. Will be marked off. Post play. And so the Comets catch a break. Here it is, Tinsley. Little screen. An unsportsmanlike taunting call. First Out to uh, Robbie Horvath. To and you can see Ryan Lawball gets up and. Again, just gets up a little excited. Happy with his performance, but gets penalized. And it'll be first and 10 now for the Comets from their own 48-yard line. Back in taking the snap is George Tinsley. Shotgun, handoff again to Braid. And Braid's going to get to the line of scrimmage, but no, no more. And I'll bring up a second and 10 for the Abington Heights Comets. Tackle, initial hit, number 72. Coming up at halftime, no gain. Second we will uh, take a listen to the Berwick Area High School marching band. They performed prior to the start of the game. And we'll also try to get a, a number, a little bit of music from the Abington Heights marching band. They will perform at halftime. Plus, we'll also be taking a look at the highlights from the first half. And a throw and a catch. By number 88, Mike Malone. Gets him out over midfield. They will spot the ball at the 45-yard line. They still need three to get the first down. Tinsley to Malone. Malone does a nice job of hanging on to that pass, which was a little bit low. Third and three now for the Abington Heights Comets. Back to throw is Tinsley. Screen. Caught. Again by Malone. And that should be enough for a first down. So the Comets come to light. Life Tinsley late here in the Number second quarter. Picks up a George Tinsley to Mike Malone. Catches the ball at about the 40-yard line. First and 10 for the Comets. Down by 21 with two minutes to play here in the second quarter. Tinsley back to take the snap in the shotgun. And another handoff to uh, Noah Braid. And Braid is going to get dropped in the backfield. Noah on Loss on that one, so it'll bring up a, a second and 11 for the Comets as the clock continues to wind. Again at halftime, we'll have some highlights for you. Listen to the bands. So we hope you'll stick around during halftime as we continue to watch the Abington Heights Comets at the Berwick Area Bulldogs here on Atlantic Broadband 10. Second and 11. Under pressure, ball is going to get thrown in the direction of number 14, Connor Perkins, Corey Perkins, but it's out of bounds. That'll bring up a third down for the Comets. Back at the Berwick 41-yard line. Number 90 and number 84. Get your DVD of this game. And Email us and we'll send you out a form, an order form, dfarley at atlanticbb.com. Then you can mail that form in and we'll get that out to you ASAP. Third and 11 for the Comets. One seventeen to play here in the first half. Comets need some points. Tinsley takes the snap, rolls out to his left, screens it to Malone. And Malone is not going to get anywhere as he is met by number six, Jacob Seeley. And they get back to the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up a fourth and ten. Nice job defensively by the Berwick Bulldogs. Tinsley here rolling out, getting some pressure. Screens it over to Mike Malone. And here comes Jacob Seeley. Read that one all the way. Gets a little help. From number 19, Peyton Williams. Then they bring him down 
40 seconds to go in the first half. Fourth and 11. And the Comets are going to let the clock wind down. They don't want to give Berwick too much time. They'll stop it with 26.8 seconds left to go. And a timeout by Abington Heights. So they're going to take a little break. Punt it away. Berwick might get one play or two off before the end of the half. We'll see how that goes. It's Berwick out in front, 21-0 over Abington Heights with 26.8 seconds left to play in the first half. Does it really make a difference where you bank? It does if your bank makes a difference. First Columbia Bank is making a difference every day in the communities we serve. As your community bank, we know the value of investing in our young people. Supporting academics, athletics, and the arts are just a few of the ways First Columbia encourages personal growth and success. Our children are the hope for the future, and we are committed to helping them succeed. First Columbia Bank, with you and your children every step of the way. And always glad to have First Columbia Bank and Trust back as a sponsor of sports here on Atlantic Broadband 10, as well as our other sponsors as well. We had a timeout in the field. There's 26.8 seconds left to play here in the first half. Abington Heights is down 21-0 to the Berwick Bulldogs. And facing a fourth and 11. Abington Heights going to have to punt this one away. Or will they? Looks like they've decided to go for it. Tinsley back to throw. Let's it fly. Flag is flown. And there's going to be some interference called Pass on that one. And that may have been a wise move. Play. Intended target there was Corey Perkins being guarded by uh, Naquan Smith. We're waiting to see what the call is. And it's pass interference against Berwick. So the gamble paid off. George Tinsley throws the ball. Pass interference called against the Bulldogs on the long pass. And you saw the hand go in there. Referee right on top of that one. And it is an interference call against Berwick. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. And that will move the Collins a little bit closer. Down to the 26-yard line. It'll be first and 10. Still 19 and a half seconds to play here in the first half. And the Comets with a fresh set of downs. Screen forward. Picked up by Malone. Malone off to the races. Gets brought down at about the 11-yard line. So another first down, and now Malone is down, takes a hard hit at the end of that play. And here you can look at George Tinsley backing up under pressure, waiting and waiting. Finally passes it off to Mike Malone. Malone takes off with the ball, and he is hit by uh, Tegan Wilk and is still down on the ground out there at about the uh, 15 or maybe the 13 yard line as it is. It's an injury timeout. We'll be back with more after this on Atlantic Broadband Channel 10. The Central Susquehanna Community Foundation is a regional philanthropic organization with over 200 charitable funds, including the Berwick Health and Wellness Fund. From those funds, more than $2.2 million in grant monies is awarded annually to local nonprofits and students to promote education, health and wellness, self-sustainability, recreation, and more. Recently accredited with the National Standards for U.S. Community Foundations for having the highest standards for philanthropic excellence, the Central Susquehanna Community Foundation is here for you. For good, forever. Welcome back to Crispin Field. There's a look at the Abington Heights marching band getting ready to take the field during halftime to uh, perform for us. In the meantime, it is a 21 to nothing game. Abington Heights is uh, currently marching downfield, and they've gotten down to about the 13 or 12 yard line on a screen pass to uh, Mike Malone. But he was hit hard at the end of the play. Tegan Wilk right there going in around the knees. And he was down on the ground. He has since gotten up. A little bit of help. 
and uh, made his way off the field. So as of right now, it'll be second and two for Abington Heights with the ball on the Berwick 18-yard line. Referees conferring. Take a look at the Burbank area cheerleaders right here, at least half of them. There's half here and half on the other side as well. As they do a great job of keeping the Burbank fans pumped up and excited about their Burbank Bulldogs. Although that's not a hard task to do. Burbank loves their Bulldogs. Great big crowd on hand for this opener tonight. And of course with the weather, why not? All right, second and two from the 18. Abington threatening, screen, they go all the way down. And that one is through the arms of both Pass number 14s, Daquan Smith of Berwick and Corey Perkins of Abington Heights. Smith. That'll bring up a third and two and third just five and a half two, seconds on the clock. With 5.5 seconds remaining. Abington trying to get on the board. Good idea right there. That was nearly picked off by Berwick. Third and two, 5.5 seconds. Comets trying to get a couple of points on the board before the half. Another quick throw across the center and in and out of the hands of number two, Robbie Horvath. Horvath. And we got 1.9 seconds Pass around the five-yard line is incomplete. Broken up by Left, Joe fourth down. Fourth and two from the 18 with 1.9. In the hands of Horvath, but hit by Tegan Wilk and uh, Joseph Lynn. And then the ball came out. So that's a fourth and two. And with 1.9 seconds left in the half, the Comets are going for it. Tinsley back to take the snap. Looking, goes to the end zone. Up and out. And it is Corey Perkins saying he caught the ball. Referee right there saying no, it touched the ground. He is still in disbelief. Abington Heights felt they had the, the touchdown. Our first half but that is how the first half will come to an end. We'll take another look at that. Again, it is uh, George Tinsley back to throw. Going for Corey Perkins. Let's watch his hands. Goes up, comes down with the ball, bobbles up in the air, catches it. He thought he cradled it. There the referee right there says, no, it touched the ground. He said it touched the ground right there. Hard to tell from that angle. And sadly, we only have the one angle. One more look at this. Perkins grabs it. He thought he kept it under his hands that it never touched the ground. Thought he pulled that in. Referee says, nope. And that is where the first half will come to an end with Berwick out in front in this one. 21 to nothing over Abington Heights. We are going to uh, take a little break. Come back with some music from both, te uh, both teams, both marching bands, Abington Heights and Berwick, and also the first half highlights. So we invite you to come on back and join us for more high school football. But for, oh, we have a special announcement going on. Andy, third. Andy Mahali. The Berwick area and the coaching staff for 35 years under Coach Curry, Coach Campbell, and Coach Sheptock. 35 year assistant coach with the Berwick Bulldogs. Getting some recognition. Andy, a really great guy. Always has a, a great word for everybody and a genuinely good guy and a good coach. Longtime coach getting recognized here for his 35 years of service to the Berwick Bulldog football team. All right, now we're going to take a break and we're going to come back with some first half highlights and some music after this on Atlantic Broadband Channel 10. Yannick Real Estate is your hometown full-service real estate office located at 1232 West Front Street, Berwick. They specialize in residential, commercial, and land listings and property management services. The associates of Yannick Real Estate work with a sincere desire to fulfill all of your real estate needs. Our mission is to be there for you 100% through the entire process and leave a lasting impression of a job well done. 
Come and make yourself at home at Yannick Real Estate. Plan now to attend the 163rd Annual Bloomsburg Fair. Gates open at 2 p.m. on Preview Day, Friday, September 21st. Enjoy the incredible nightly entertainment all week long. Get your tickets at bloomsburgfair.com or charge by phone. Call 570-387-4145 for the Toyota Grandstand Pavilion Ticket Office. Don't miss the fairy tale adventure in the Horticulture Building. It's guaranteed to be a fair to remember. It's the 163rd Annual Bloomsburg Fair, September 21st through the 29th. Details on Facebook or at bloomsburgfair.com. Say hello to the new neighbor on the block. Say hello to even more of the entertainment you love. Even faster internet speeds. Plus hands-on local service like never before. And it's all from your best new neighbor ever. Say hello to Atlantic Broadband. Get TV, internet, and phone like never before. Atlantic Broadband. What you want. Instantly. Still waiting for somebody to show up with that stretch number like that. That's very cool. All right, welcome back. It is halftime. Uh, Berwick out in front in this one, 21 to nothing. Let's get to the first half highlights. Here is Abington Heights. And Tinsley going across the middle to Mike Malone with a major completion. They were on the 33-yard line. This one goes all the way down to the 25, so a massive pass and catch but Berwick was able to put a stop to it and they brought the ball back Berwick with the ball on this one it is Alex Force and a handoff to Tegan Wilk no score at this point 130 to play in the first quarter Tegan Wilk weaving through traffic breaks a couple of trackle tackles and Walls is in for a 33 yard touchdown that's the first score of the 2018 se season for the Berwick area Bulldogs. And in the second quarter now, it's Alex Force with a handoff to Owen Shoemaker from the 12 yard line. He's gonna go 12 yards, battle his way over the end zone for the second score of the game for the Berwick area Bulldogs. And then we've got uh, some more second quarter action. Berwick with the ball down around the seven yard line. And it is Force with a screen out to Tegan Wilk, who takes it at the 11, getting challenged but dives for the end zone and comes across with the third score of the game. That accounts for all of Berwick's scores. And it is uh, Abington Heights trying to get into this game and unable to do so until right about here, George Tinsley, 25 seconds left in the half, goes for the end zone, looking to hit Corey Perkins. And it is Naquan Smith who's going to get called for pass interference on that one. So that gave the Comets a chance to get back into this one. 10 seconds a little bit later, going for the end zone. And that one is nearly picked off there by Naquan Smith. Both number 14 is going for it. No dice, and the final play of the first half is right here. George Tinsley from the 18-yard line going for Corey Perkins, and Perkins says he catches this. It goes up the air. He says he came down with it. The referee says no, that it touched the ground, and there is no score, and that is the way things are right now with Abington Heights trailing the Berwick Bulldogs by a score of 21 to nothing. All right, here's what we got for you now. It was the Berwick Area High School Band on the field earlier before the start of the game. So we're going to go back and actually take a little listen to the Berwick Area High School Marching Band from earlier this evening.
that is the Burwick Area High School Marching Band. That was from earlier this evening, and right now it's the Abington Heights Marching Band on the field, doing, I believe, September from Earth, Wind, and Fire. Let's listen. Abington Heights marching band doing their thing. Halftime of Abington Heights at Berwick. Berwick out in front in this one, 21 to nothing. We're going to take a little break and come back with the second half action and see if Abington Heights can work their way back into this game. You're watching high school football season opener for both teams right here on Atlantic Broadband 10. Why call Century 21? Because personal makes a difference. At Century 21, caring for our clients and community are essential in providing personal service. We know where you're coming from, and the places you call home are the places we call home, too. Better pick the power of personal. Why call Century 21? Because powerful counts. Powerful means 111,000 associates in 78 countries and one right here in our neck of the woods. Powerful brings insight on zoning, construction, and restrictions. Stuff you need help with. It's the biggest financial investment of your life. Better pick Powerful. Does it really make a difference where you bank? It does if your bank makes a difference. First Columbia Bank is making a difference every day in the communities we serve. As your community bank, we know the value of investing in our young people, supporting academics, Athletics and the arts are just a few of the ways First Columbia encourages personal growth and success. Our children are the hope for the future, and we are committed to helping them succeed. First Columbia Bank, with you and your children, every step of the way. The Central Susquehanna Community Foundation is a regional philanthropic organization with over 200 charitable funds, including the Berwick Health and Wellness Fund. From those funds, more than $2.2 million in grant monies is awarded annually to local nonprofits and students to promote education, health and wellness, self-sustainability, recreation, and more. Recently accredited with the National Standards for U.S. Community Foundations for having the highest standards for philanthropic excellence, the Central Susquehanna Community Foundation is here for you. For good, forever. Yonick Real Estate is your hometown full-service real estate office located at 1232 West Front Street, Berwick. They specialize in residential, commercial, and land listings and property management services. The associates of Yonick Real Estate work with a sincere desire to fulfill all of your real estate needs. Our mission is to be there for you 100% through the entire process and leave a lasting impression of a job well done. Come and make yourself at home at Yonick Real Estate. Plan now to attend the 163rd Annual Bloomsburg Fair. Gates open at 2 p.m. on Preview Day, Friday, September 21st. Enjoy the incredible nightly entertainment all week long. Get your tickets at bloomsburgfair.com or charge by phone. Call 570-387-4145 for the Toyota Grandstand Pavilion Ticket Office. Don't miss the fairy tale adventure in the Horticulture Building. It's guaranteed to be a fair to remember. It's the 163rd Annual Bloomsburg Fair, September 21st through the 29th. Details on Facebook or at bloomsburgfair.com. And welcome back. It's about the second half for Abington Heights. First half, they had a few moments where they got some momentum going, but they just couldn't quite finish. They nearly got a touchdown with the last play of the first half. But as it stands, Burwick is out in front in this one by a score of 21 to nothing. And the Abington Heights Comets are going to kick off to begin the second half. And arm is raised. Here we go with the second half. Abington Heights at Berwick. 21-0 to score. Bulldogs on top. And this one is going to be picked up by number 16, Aiden Mason. And Mason finds a little gap there, and he's off to the 30, he's 40, and he's off to the races. Can he go all the way? Aiden Mason going to go 
97 yards for a Berwick touchdown to begin the second half. Unbelievable turn of events. And that will take the wind out of your sails quickly. Aiden Mason letting the ball roll around in the backfield. Finally just picks it up back around the seven yard line. So we'll make it a 93 yard touchdown return. But he's avoiding tackles and at this point, he's just pouring on the speed and outrunning everybody. Aiden Mason, a freshman for the Berwick Bulldogs. And you may be looking at the future of the Berwick area Bulldogs football team right there in Aiden Mason. Maybe here is a penalty. They were going for the extra point. Offsides against Abington Heights. And that will be declined by Berwick. Again, here's the tail end of that. Touchdown run by Aiden Mason, freshman for Berwick. 93-yard touchdown return. Actually, kickoff return, and it's now 27-0. Berwick out in front over Abington Heights, and we are just underway here in the third quarter. Jarrett Groshek with the extra point. It is up, and it is good, and it's a 28-0 game with Berwick out in front again. The kickoff, by Aiden, Aiden Mason, Mason waits for it. Looked like in a minute like he was waiting for somebody else to pick it up, but nobody did, so he picked it up, ran for it, found the gap right there, outran the last defender, and then he took it the rest of the way for a Berwick touchdown. It's now 28-0, Berwick on top over Abington Heights. Why call Century 21? Because personal makes a difference. At Century 21, caring for our clients and community are essential in providing personal service. We know where you're coming from, and the places you call home are the places we call home, too. Better pick the power of personal. Why call Century 21? Because powerful counts. Powerful means 111,000 associates in 78 countries and one right here in our neck of the woods. Powerful brings insight on zoning, construction, and restrictions. Stuff you need help with. It's the biggest financial investment of your life. Better pick Powerful. And there, by the way, is a look at uh, some of the yummy food stands they have here at the Berwick football field. Crispin Field. A lot of great food on that side of the field and underneath the uh, bleachers on our side. Here's the kickoff after that 93 yard touchdown kickoff return. Picked up by the Comets, looking for room and nothing doing, brought down. Groshek's kick to the five. The dogs led by Lawball and Eric Montes tackling the Abington Heights returner at the 12 yard line. Here's the pickup at the five yard Simple line. The Gets 10. out to about the 10. 10 for the Comets. Four being brought down. So that's where they'll spot the ball. And a whistle will blow. Player coming off. Abington Heights with the ball. George Tinsley at quarterback and a handoff again to their workhorse, uh, Noah Braid, who is met back at the line of scrimmage. No gain. That'll bring up a second and 10. Noah Berwick Braid defense strong tonight Berwick against this uh, Comets team. Berwick last year went 10-2 and two on the season, had a really good season. They were averaging 31 points per game. They're almost at that now. And uh, Berwick, by the way, is number 14 on the all-time high school football win list in the nation, number 14 with 807 wins. Impressive stats. That's from the Curry years and right here through the Sheptock years. And some interesting running going on. 
Long way to go for five yards, but five yards in this game for uh, Tinsley is a good five yards. Picks up a six-yard gain. Eric Montez eventually on the tackle. Third and five. And it's George Tinsley going back, looking to throw. Nothing doing there. Gets around Jacob Seeley. Runs into some traffic. Still looking for some room to run. Cuts it back out to the midfield. Little slippage finally brought down at the 15-yard line. So it'll be third and five now for the Abington Heights Comets. Berwick not giving the Comets much to work with. Giving them no leeway. Tinsley back to throw. Makes the catch. Number nine there, Connor Newman. Quick out pass to number nine, Connor Newman is completed. Gets the ball out to the 22-yard line. That's enough for a first down for the Comets. So as we say, the Comets uh, struggling a little bit, and all of a sudden, here they are. Tinsley. First and 10 from the 22. And a good catch by Connor Newman. Noah Braid on the carry. Braid with the carry as you heard. Blaine Cleaver underneath. For Didn't get anything on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage. So this all the, the uh, defensive line for Berwick is uh, pretty strong, holding up well. Nine and a half to go here in the third quarter. Berwick out in front, 28 nothing. It'll be second and ten now for the uh, Abington. Heights Comets as they try to get a drive together and get on the board. They nearly got a score with the last play of the uh, first half, but it was negated. Umpire right there said it touched the ground. And so they wind up with nothing. Screen out there to Corey Perkins is good. And guarding him well is Naquan Smith. On the left side of the formation. Naquan Smith for the Berwick tackle. Gain of six. As you heard, a six-yard gain. Third nice screen by George Tinsley over to Corey line. Perkins. Third and four now. Comets again trying to get an extended drive going. They've been able to get things moving here a few times in this game. And a timeout now is called by Abington Heights as head coach uh, Joe Sheps Repsish wants to talk it over with his team. Make sure everybody's on the same page as they try to get something started here in the second half. Does it really make a difference where you bank? It does if your bank makes a difference. First Columbia Bank is making a difference every day in the communities we serve. As your community bank, we know the value of investing in our young people. Supporting academics, athletics, and the arts are just a few of the ways First Columbia encourages personal growth and success. Our children are the hope for the future, and we are committed to helping them succeed. First Columbia Bank, with you and your children every step of the way. Abington Heights on a on a uh, I was going to say a commercial break, but on a timeout. There's a look at the uh, student body of Berwick having a good time here tonight. All painted up and ready to go for the first game of the season, and they're being treated to a uh, pretty good offensive game and a defensive game by the Berwick Bulldogs. It's a third and four situation. Tinsley across the middle that is caught. And enough for a first down out to the 35-yard line. Caught by Corey Perkins, and that'll move the chains. And so the Comets, after thinking things over during a uh, timeout, screen across the middle over to Perkins, who makes it to the 35-yard uh, line. 36, they gave him an extra on that one. Six. 
Handoff there to Noah Braid. Gets a yard or two. Bring up second down for the Abington Heights Comets. Want a copy of this game on DVD? We make them available. They're $25 each. To order one, email us. That's the best way to do it. dfarley at atlanticbb.com. dfarley at atlanticbb.com. And then we'll send you an order form. Fill that out. Send it in with your payment. And uh, we will get that out to you ASAP. Uh, we do not pre-make the DVDs. You have to order them. And then we will send them out to you or tell you how you can pick them up. Fake the pitch, cross the center, and way over shot. Intended target there was Connor Newman, but way over the head. Nice idea by Tinsley. That'll bring up a third and eight as Abington Heights. Keeps trying to move the ball forward. 7.07 to play here in the third quarter. We also invite you to uh, follow us on YouTube at our Atlantic Broadband Channel 10 YouTube page. Go on YouTube, search for Atlantic Broadband Channel 10, uh, and then you can like us and get notifications whenever we put something new up for you. And we will have this game available in the near future, as well as many others from this fall season. And some of that may be live, just like you were at the stadium watching. Across the middle, caught. Falling forward and should be enough for a first down. Robbie Horvath with a nice catch. Over the middle, completed to number two, Robbie Horvath. And they're going to spot that one at about the 46-yard line. And it is a first down and for Abington Heights. So they keep the ball moving forward, trying line. to inch their way downfield. Good throw, good catch by Horvath. Steps up a little bit and winds up with enough yardage to get that first down. And bulldozing his way. Noah Braid on There's the Noah guard. Braid. Pick up of seven on the play. And Tony Barada, last foot up on the play. Pick up a Hand off again to uh, Noah Braid here. From the Goes right through the middle. Runs over a few Berwick players in the process. Winds up getting seven yards on the carry. Pass over the middle. Completed to number And that's enough for a first down. Caught there by uh, Michael Passateri. Michael Passateri. For a combat first down. And here first again is George Tinsley. Takes the handoff. Goes right across the middle to uh, Passateri. Who catches the ball. Down about the 39-yard line. First and 10 for the Abington Heights Comets. And they are slowing the game down. Going through. The motions and moving the ball and the chains. And a little miscommunication right there. Tinsley tried to hand it off to Noah Braid, but it was well read by the Berwick defense. Three or four blue shirts there. Tinsley, reverse option in the backfield, tackle for a five yard loss by. Right there was going to hand it off, did not do it. But one, Mike two, Zaluto three shirts. And Eric Montez. Second and 15 from the Berwick 44. Big loss. Clock continuing to run. Five minutes to go here in the third quarter. Abington Heights in the white with the ball. Second and 15 now. George Tinsley at quarterback. Comets putting a nice drive together. Screen this one out to Horvath. Hangs onto the ball. But he is slowed down and then brought down by a uh, Tegan Wilk and Blaine Cleaver in the end. So that'll bring up a third and 15. Berwick defense trying to put a stop to Abington Heights momentum. Little screen here from Tinsley out to Robbie Horvath. 
One yard gain on the play. Third and Breaks free of the Ryan Lawbar right there, only to be tackled moments later by a couple more Bulldogs. 4-10 to play in the third quarter. Play coming in. From the sidelines, courtesy of uh, Joe Repsius, the longtime head coach at Abington Heights. Third and 14, Tinsley in the shotgun, back to throw. Looking, being pressured. Gets away, finally has to throw that one away, so the defense for Berwick holds, and they stop Abington Heights at the 43-yard line. Out flag on the field, it looks like. Out of bounds, pass goes downfield incomplete. Penalty flag on the play. And a legal procedure against illegal Abington procedure Heights. Against the Comets. And it is declined by Berwick. Declined. That'll bring up a fourth and 14, we'll and the Comets fourth, are going to have to pen, punt 14. the ball away. Still checking here. No one has picked up that 50-50 winnings of $317. And nobody Once getting again, that 50-50. The winning ticket number, 587-0. So uh, when you come to these games, you got a chance to uh, get a, something, a little something extra out of it if you That's the winning partake and support the teams in the various way, shapes, or forms. Back to punt. Comets. And that one's going to roll forward into the end zone. It was touched Kick is down in before the end zone, zone but carried over to the end zone. And, and so they'll it. say that is going to we'll go in. The and they'll be bringing that back out to the 20 yard line. It is a 28 to nothing. Score, Burwick on top with 3.36 to play here in the third quarter. It's Abington Heights at Burwick High School Football on Atlantic Broadband Channel 10. The Central Susquehanna Community Foundation is a regional philanthropic organization with over 200 charitable funds, including the Berwick Health and Wellness Fund. From those funds, more than $2.2 million in grant monies is awarded annually to local nonprofits and students to promote education, health and wellness, self-sustainability, recreation, and more. Recently accredited with the National Standards for U.S. Community Foundations for having the highest standards for philanthropic excellence, the Central Susquehanna Community Foundation is here for you. For good, forever. Hey, do yourself a favor, go to csgiving.org and find out more about the Central Susquehanna Community Foundation. You'll be glad you did. And we're back to the action. Berwick with a uh, three-yard run from the 20. Shoemaker on the left side carry to begin. That'll bring up a uh, second and seven now. Again, back to the Central Susquehanna Community Foundation. Uh, what you do with them is if you have some money you want to give back to the community and you've Michael got some money you want to get out to the, do some good with, you can give it to them, start your own little fund, dictate how you want that doled out and how often you want that doled out, and they'll manage it for you. csgiving.org for more information. Second and seven. Another handoff to Shoemaker, driving forward. He's going to pick up another five or so. Matt oh, and Shoemaker here. On the carry. Gain of seven, third and two. Third and two. Pass cross. That one is caught by Tegan Wilk. Out around the 32-yard line. That's enough for a first down. Berwick first and ten. From their own 32-yard line, 222 left, left to play here in the third quarter. First and 10 at the Berwick 32. Clock will begin. 28 nothing the score. Berwick scored one in the first quarter, two in the second. And they took the opening kickoff here in the third quarter, the second half. 93 yards for a touchdown. Owen that accounts for all the scoring. Side. Owen Shoemaker. On a nice carry right there. Oh, Should be enough for another first down off to Just about the 42-yard line. Force. 
And a handoff to Shoemaker. Referee. Personal foul against Berwick. Came to the 41, but a penalty on the play. So we'll go back, see if we can figure out where the penalty was. A personal foul. After the play. Little scuffle going on. So that negates. Personal foul penalty called against the Bulldogs, 15 yards. Should be a second and 15 now. Force back to take the snap, looking to throw. Puts it up into the air. And, Second and trying to get to Tegan Bulldogs Wilk, who stepped wrong at the very end of that play. For Wilk. About to get sacked there, Michael Passateri, all over Alex Force. From the Had to heave that before he intended to. First uh, serious penetration of the offensive line of Berwick of this game. Force again, back to throw. And that one is through the hands. Pass intended for Owen Shoemaker is incomplete. Shoemaker, on the play, Michael that'll bring a fourth down. Incomplete. And fourth as has not been the, the case ball. in this game so far, Berwick is going to have to Punt this one away. Alex Sharkovsky to punt for Berwick, standing at his 12-yard line. Back to punt, Alex Sharkovsky. Back at about the 11-yard line. Low snap, but he will get the kick away to about midfield. And a fair catch called at the 43-yard line punt is fair caught by, by Corey Perkins. They will spot it at the 44, a generous spot. And will be first and 10 for so we'll remind line. you that this is just the first game of our fall season. We have, assuming uh, weather holds out and things like that, uh, we have around 28, 29 games we plan on bringing you over the next 10 weeks or so. Uh, including next week's Pittston at Berwick football game. We'll have that for you. Tape delayed. And then the uh, seasons really kick in. We've got field hockey, boys and girls soccer, and we've also got a volleyball game, girls volleyball game or two in there for you. And a handoff to Noah Braid, Braid goes nowhere handoff. quickly. Drops him for a loss. That'll bring up a second and 11 Montana, with a minute and 15 to play here in the, the third Bulldog quarter. Loss of one. So, yeah, we do have some uh, field hockey, which is one of those fast and furious games. The whistle blows every 10 seconds or so. And if you're not playing the game or don't know much about it, you'll have a dickens of a time trying to figure out what they're doing. Read up about it. It's worth. It's kind of it's a fun game. Uh, boys and girls soccer. And a couple of girls volleyball games as well. Second and 11. Pass. It's caught at about the 50-yard line by Corey Perkins, and he steps forward to about the 47-yard line of Berwick. That should be enough for a first down. Tinsley. Looking all the way for Perkins, who's out there all by himself. We have a uh, another player down, it looks like, out on the field. So it'll be third and one when we come back. Abington Heights getting a nine-yard completion on that last play. Now a word from your hometown realtors, Yannick Real Estate, based in Berwick. Yannick Real Estate is your hometown full-service real estate office located at 1232 West Front Street, Berwick. 
They specialize in residential, commercial, and land listings, and property management services. The associates of Yonick Real Estate work with a sincere desire to fulfill all of your real estate needs. Our mission is to be there for you 100% through the entire process and leave a lasting impression of a job well done. Come and make yourself at home at Yonick Real Estate. Taking a look at the uh, Crispin Field here, the crowd. They line the field here at Crispin Field from one end to the other. So it's an uh, interesting experience. There's even some tailgating activity going on over at the Jingle Hall, which is uh, way, the way we're looking at the field on the other side of the far wall. That's where the Berwick JC's building, Jingle Hall, they call it now, the rental space. Uh, they have stuff going on over there. We are about to uh, get the ball back into action after a uh, timeout, injury timeout. Third and one for Abington Heights. 43 seconds to play here in the third quarter. The Comets trying to get on board, down 28 nothing to Berwick at this point. And a quick handoff there to Noah Braid will be enough for a first down. Right side carry and so they'll get a fresh set of downs in the hopes of inching their way towards the end zone. They needed one. Tackle by number 72, Benjamin Peck. And it looks like they got one, maybe two on that play. First and 10. Ball is uh, at the 45 and a half a yard line of five. Berwick. So they got about a yard and a half, just enough for that first down. Clock is continuing to run. George Tinsley doing a nice job managing this game. Fake the pitch. He's going to run into trouble. Going to have to get rid of it, and he does. Great job by the Berwick defense. Ball is thrown out of bounds. It will stop the clock with 6.8 seconds left here in the third quarter. We'll check that. Defense by Berwick. Here is uh, George Tinsley. Bursting in right there is number 84. That's Antonio Barata. Second and 10. And then you got another number blue shirt coming 45. in there. Barata comes back around. Nearly sacks him. And Tinsley has to get rid of that one. So it was 6.8 seconds showing on the clock. This will be the final play of the third quarter. Abington Heights trying to get on the board. Tinsley back to throw. Looking. Screens it out, caught, and immediately brought down by number nine, Blaine Cleaver, he is number 44, Noah Braid. Right side screen he winds up with about uh, three or four yard gain, but that is where the third quarter will come to an end. We will resume play and have the final quarter of this matchup, Abington Heights at Berwick High School Football on Atlantic Broadband 10. Plan now to attend the 163rd Annual Bloomsburg Fair. Gates open at 2 p.m. on Preview Day, Friday, September 21st. Enjoy the incredible nightly entertainment all week long. Get your tickets at bloomsburgfair.com or charge by phone. Call 570-387-4145 for the Toyota Grandstand Pavilion Ticket Office. Don't miss the fairy tale adventure in the Horticulture Building. It's guaranteed to be a fair to remember. It's the 163rd Annual Bloomsburg Fair, September 21st through the 29th. Details on Facebook or at bloomsburgfair.com. All right, welcome back. Fourth quarter action, getting underway. Abington Heights with the ball, third and six. Across the middle, caught. Down about the 32, 33 yard line, caught by Robbie Horvath. And that'll be enough for a first down. Abington Heights first down. Tackled at the Berwick. Nearly missed that play that came up quick on us. George Tinsley taking the snap. Looking for Robbie Horvath to his left. Across the middle, Horvath makes a catch. Tegan Wilk with the takedown. Ball is now at the 33-yard line of Berwick. And the Abington Heights Comets are on the move. 11.35 to play in the game. Handoff to Braid who gets forward for a few yards.
Noah Braid on the first down carry. Picks up four yards to the Burley 29. Second and six. Said it a few times here already. Beautiful night for football. Sun was out at the start of the game, about 78 degrees. It's dropped down into the lower 70s. Uh, we, I could deal with this uh, the rest of the season. 70 degree weather for our high school sports and beautiful sunshine. In trouble. And a good catch by Robbie Horvath. Ryan Lawbaugh turned the wrong way. Horvath turned around and caught the ball. Major completion. They'll spot the ball at the 15-yard line. So a great play by uh, Abington Heights to keep themselves in this game. Take another look at this. George Tinsley back to throw. Defensive line holding. He rolls out to his right. Let's it fly. Robbie Horvath down there has to uh, turn around and slow down to catch the ball. You saw Lawbaugh turn the wrong way, thinking the ball was going to go over his head, and it didn't. It came from behind, so it kind of snuck up on him a little bit. Five-yard gain on that run by Noah Braid. Second and five now. The Comets, 10 yards away from their first points of the game and the season. George Tinsley back to throw. Looking across the middle, over the head of number nine, Tinsley, Connor the Newman. That one falls incomplete. Third and five. Going to check the tail end of that last play. About a 15-yard completion. And iPhone, I-5 has been turned in at the press box. And line. people are losing their phones iPhone, at Crispin I-5 Field. Turned in at the press box. And as uh, anybody who uses a cell phone knows, they know that even an I-5 is expensive. So make sure you don't lose your phones. Keep track, kids and parents. Third and five, Abington Heights trying to get on board. Looking four wide and... In and out of the hands. Flag comes in. Peyton Williams there guarding. Pass over the middle is incomplete. Broken up by Peyton Williams. But penalty flag on the play. And that may be pass interference. And it's pass interference. Williams might have got there just a little early. And that's a good break for Abington Heights. They're on the 10-yard line. That'll move the change five yards. Here you see George Tinsley. Pass Looking across the middle. The Half the distance. First down. First In and out of the hands. For the Comet. But the flag comes flying. Go and Left side. Berwick comes away Submarine with a defensive stop. And number 71, Mike Zaluto. Second and four now for the Abington Heights Comets. Nine minutes to go in the game. They would like to avoid the shutout. If possible, they have had the ball on this drive for quite some time. Berwick Second defense four, is going to have to Second step it up. Four. Second and four. Across the middle, and it's picked off. Tegan Wilk steps across in front of the pass, brings it back to the 11-yard line, and that will end this particular drive for the Abington Heights Comets. Tegan Wilk read that one all the way. Just when it looks like the Comets were about to get on board. George Tinsley with the pass. Wilk. Steps in front of that one, 
Pick off and brings it back to the 12 yard line. It'll be Berwick's ball. So a tough break for the Comets. It looked like they were about to get on board. Came very close. Berwick comes away with the interception. And they get the ball back. And now it's Owen Shoemaker, who is out to the 25, the 30. Makes his way out to about the 35, the 34-yard line. 35 is where the referee is standing. That's where they say he went out of bounds. But a good run by Berwick. This is from the 12-yard line. Hand off to Owen Shoemaker. Finds that little gap, follows his blocker, and then he is off to the races. Gets all the way up to the 35-yard uh, line before he steps out of bounds. Right, tiptoed right there, he stepped out. And we have a timeout on the field. Berwick with the ball. First and 10 when we come back. 8.34 to play in this game. Say hello to the new neighbor on the block. Say hello to even more of the entertainment you love. Even faster internet speeds. Plus hands-on local service like never before. And it's all from your best new neighbor ever. Say hello to Atlantic Broadband. Get TV, internet, and phone like never before. Atlantic Broadband, what you want, instantly. And welcome back. They are quickly getting back to action here. First and 10 for Berwick on their own 35-yard line. Alex Force fakes the pitch, goes for it all. Downfield, and it's a completion. Pass downfield is completed to Alex. Alex Sharkowski comes away with that ball from the 35-yard line all the way down to the 29-yard line. Completion. And that is going to set up Berwick nicely. Hand off to Shoemaker. He's going to get a couple of yards out of that one. Here is the play. 35-yard pass play. Alex Force. Lots of time. Puts it up in the air. And Alexander Sharkowski double-teamed. Gets up into the air, comes down with the ball. And it is now a second and six for Berwick. 7.50 to play in the game. Berwick out in front, 28-0. Fourth quarter action. Alex Force at quarterback. Owen Shoemaker in the backfield. Motion. Shoemaker gets the call. Works those legs, goes forward. Out close to first down territory. Referee comes in. You saw him raise up three fingers. It'll be third down and one for the Berwick area Bulldogs. Bulldogs like to go no huddle. That's the way Coach uh, Sheptock likes it. Keeps the play moving faster. Keeps the other team a little bit off guard. Alex Force. Hand off to Shoemaker again. And he's going to... Chug his way across the line of scrimmage for another first down for Berwick. They'll put the ball at the 12-yard uh, line. And we have another player down. It's early in the season. As conditioned as these teams are when they get into game situations, you cramp up a little bit. We've seen the uh, rollers out a few times trying to keep the legs, keep the legs of these players fluid in motion. So we'll have another break. We'll work out in front, 28 nothing, 657 in the game. First and 10 when we come back. Why call Century 21? Because personal makes a difference. At Century 21, caring for our clients and community are essential in providing personal service. We know where you're coming from, and the places you call home are the places we call home, too. Better pick the power of personal. 
Why call Century 21? Because powerful counts. Powerful means 111,000 associates in 78 countries and one right here in our neck of the woods. Powerful brings insight on zoning, construction, and restrictions. Stuff you need help with. It's the biggest financial investment of your life. Better pick Powerful. And welcome back. It's Abington Heights at Berwick. There is a look at the George Curry Fieldhouse. If you live in Berwick, heck, if you live across the country, you knew of George Curry and his football program, God, Family, and Football, his motto. Uh, what a great guy and what a great coach. Uh, he was the head coach of Berwick for many, many, many years. Racked up many of those 807 overall wins here at the Berwick area football program. Also led the uh, Berwick football program to several state championships. Head coach is now Frank Sheptock, and he is doing a nice job carrying on the tradition of Berwick football last few seasons and tonight here versus Abington Heights. The score is 28-0. Berwick is in front. We had an injury timeout. And we are waiting for things to get back into action again. So we're still waiting. We'll come back with more after this on Atlantic Broadband 10. Does it really make a difference where you bank? It does if your bank makes a difference. First Columbia Bank is making a difference every day in the communities we serve. As your community bank, we know the value of investing in our young people. Supporting academics, athletics, and the arts are just a few of the ways First Columbia encourages personal growth and success. Our children are the hope for the future, and we are committed to helping them succeed. First Columbia Bank, with you and your children every step of the way. All right, we are now back. Berwick with the ball, 17-yard line. Alex Force at quarterback, takes the snap. Hand off to uh, number 16. This is Aiden Mason in for a touchdown. From 17 yards out, Aiden Mason. Aiden Mason. Scored the first points of the second half on a 93-yard kickoff return. And now, 17 yards out, gets his second touchdown of his Berwick career. He's a freshman. Berwick goes out front, 34-0 now. Extra point. He is up, and it is good. Another look, Alex Forrest handing it off to Aiden Mason. Again, this is a ninth grader. Works his way through traffic. Runs at 17 yards for his second touchdown of the evening. Berwick is now out front, 35-0. Back with more after this on Atlantic Broadband Channel 10. The Central Susquehanna Community Foundation is a regional philanthropic organization with over 200 charitable funds, including the Berwick Health and Wellness Fund. From those funds, more than $2.2 million in grant monies is awarded annually to local nonprofits and students to promote education, health and wellness, self-sustainability, recreation, and more. Recently accredited with the National Standards for U.S. Community Foundations for having the highest standards for philanthropic excellence, the Central Susquehanna Community Foundation is here for you. For good, forever. Back to the ball game. Berwick now away out in front, 35 nothing. 6.42 to play in the game, and here is the ensuing kickoff. Kicking off. That one's gonna go into the end zone. They'll bring that back out to the 20. Kick. Carries into the end zone for a Berwick touchback. Abington Again, a uh, great debut from for a freshman running back, Aiden Mason. Took the uh, opening kickoff of the second half. 93 yards for a touchdown. And here in the fourth quarter, he goes 17 for his second touchdown of his Berwick Bulldog High School career. Congratulations to him. Berwick now out in front, 35 to nothing. We're going to remind you to uh, go to YouTube and look us up on YouTube. Search for Atlantic Broadband Channel 10. You'll find our page. Uh, follow us there, and you'll get notifications as to when we have uh, games for you to watch. And we're going to be putting this one up on YouTube pretty soon. And we'll even do a few live for you as well. You can watch it like you're sitting at the game. Hand off, and a new quarterback. 
for um, right side run by number Hamilton Heights. This is uh, number 11, Jad Khalil, who's now quarterbacking. Second and nine, another handoff. Abington Heights trying out some of their younger players. The tally on the second down run. That Outside. is number 23, Luna Tally. One. Third and eight. Abington Heights with 524 to play in the game. The Comet, putting in some of their uh, younger players, getting some Cahill. experience. Uh, Jad Khalil is the quarterback. He's a sophomore. Burrock out in front, 35 nothing in this game. Third and seven. Khalil at quarterback. Back to throw. And he is going to get swallowed up and gobbled up and dropped for a big loss. And that will bring up a fourth down for Abington Heights. Quarterback sacked by the Bulldogs. On back at the 15-yard line. That's a generous spot. 4.35 to play. And the Comets are going to have to punt this one away. Quarterback sack led by Mason and Will Decker. Brings up fourth and 15. Punt coming for Abington Heights. And a timeout is called by Abington Heights. Don't even see a punter back there. So they're going to have to get the uh, proper players out on the field while they're doing that. We'll take a break. A little commercial break and thank one of our sponsors of sports here on Atlantic Broadband, Channel 10. Berwick out in front, 35-0, 414, left play in the game. Yannick Real Estate is your hometown full-service real estate office located at 1232 West Front Street, Berwick. They specialize in residential, commercial, and land listings and property management services. The associates of Yonick Real Estate work with a sincere desire to fulfill all of your real estate needs. Our mission is to be there for you 100% through the entire process and leave a lasting impression of a job well done. Come and make yourself at home at Yonick Real Estate. All right. Abington Heights has the people on the field they need. Here comes the punt. Fourth and 15. Picked up at about the 43-yard line. Brought back. Punt fielded by Blake, Blake Maurer. Maurer. 40-yard line. Gets back to the 40. 10-yard return for the Bulldogs. They'll have a first and 10 at the Comet 30. Clock will start up again. Four minutes to go. Berwick coming out. Abington Heights putting in some of their younger players to finish this game, and it looks as if Berwick may be doing and a the same. For the Bulldogs, Peyton, Williams. Peyton Williams is now the quarterback for the Bulldogs. And a handoff again to uh, Aiden Mason, who makes his way out to about the 23-yard line. Seven-yard gain for Berwick. Inside the 25 to the 20. So here you're getting a look at seven. the future of both programs. Aiden Mason right there doing a nice job, breaking free of a tackle. Still winds up with seven yards before he's brought down by a couple of Comets. Peyton Williams, the quarterback, pitches it out. Breaking through. That is number 25, Blake, Blake Maurer, Maurer right side sweep, doing a great job. Berwick, first down. 
Gain of nine on the play. First down for Berwick. You heard a nine yard gain. Good pitch, Maurer. Turning that corner, using his blockers. Gets nine out of that one. Pitch out this one is to Jacob Betts. Betts is brought down by number 26, Julian Blanco at about the eight, seven yard line. So another good run. Peyton Williams pitching it out to a Jacob Betts. Second and five from the Comet eight. One fifty-four to play in the game. Bulldogs waiting for a play to come. In the background, I think I hear the time warp from the Rocky Horror Picture Show being played by the Abington Heights Marching Band. And a keeper and a touchdown by quarterback Peyton Williams. Berwick goes up 41-0 with 1.32 to play in the game. Peyton Williams taking the snap. It was second and five from the eight. Gets away from one defender. Spins his way into the end zone, and it is a 41 to nothing game. Berwick out in front. Here is Misael Hernandez for the extra point. And it's up, and it is good. Berwick now leads in this one by a score of 42 to nothing. 132 to play in the game. Berwick way out in front. You're watching high school football on Atlantic Broadband Channel 10. Plan now to attend the 163rd Annual Bloomsburg Fair. Gates open at 2 p.m. on preview day, Friday, September 21st. Enjoy the incredible nightly entertainment all week long. Get your tickets at bloomsburgfair.com or charge by phone. Call 570-387-4145 for the Toyota Grandstand Pavilion Ticket Office. Don't miss the fairy tale adventure in the Horticulture Building. It's guaranteed to be a fair to remember. It's the 163rd Annual Bloomsburg Fair, September 21st through the 29th. Details on Facebook or at bloomsburgfair.com. All right, we're back. Berwick with the ensuing kickoff. Misael Hernandez going to kick this one off. 132 to play in the game. Berwick out in front, 42 nothing. Some of the younger players of these two teams now on the field. Get some varsity experience. I believe that was Julian Blanco who picked that one up. Got back to the 16-yard line, and with 128 showing on the clock, that is what Edmonton Heights will have to work off. with. Returns seven yards out to the 16-yard line. First and 10 for the Comets. Clock is running. Comets with the ball. Hand off. Working those feet. Churns forward for three or four yards. Hand off to the fullback. Inside, carry. Tackled by the interior of the Bulldog defense. Second and eight. They got two out of that. Jad Khalil now quarterbacking for Abington Heights. He is a sophomore quarterback. And they pitch it out. And they're going to be met by a couple of Bulldogs. I believe that was Brian Pronitis. And for all intents and purposes, that should be the final play of the game. Berwick going to come away with their First win of the season the and a big score. The final on this one is 42 to nothing. Berwick Bulldogs win their home opener. 42 nothing over the Abington Heights Comets. There's a look at head coach Frank Sheptock. 
going out to uh, shake the hand of head coach Joe Repsius of Abington Heights. Two have known each other for a number of years, and there's a look at the players shaking hands. And we will take a little break, come back with second half highlights and a few final thoughts. Abington Heights at Berwick. Berwick wins this one 42 0. Back in a moment. You're watching high school football on Atlantic Broadband Channel 10. Why call Century 21? Because personal makes a difference. At Century 21, caring for our clients and community are essential in providing personal service. We know where you're coming from, and the places you call home are the places we call home, too. Better pick the power of personal. Why call Century 21? Because powerful counts. Powerful means 111,000 associates in 78 countries and one right here in our neck of the woods. Powerful brings insight on zoning, construction, and restrictions. Stuff you need help with. It's the biggest financial investment of your life. Better pick Powerful. Does it really make a difference where you bank? It does if your bank makes a difference. First Columbia Bank is making a difference every day in the communities we serve. As your community bank, we know the value of investing in our young people, supporting academics, Athletics and the arts are just a few of the ways First Columbia encourages personal growth and success. Our children are the hope for the future, and we are committed to helping them succeed. First Columbia Bank, with you and your children every step of the way. The Central Susquehanna Community Foundation is a regional philanthropic organization with over 200 charitable funds, including the Berwick Health and Wellness Fund. From those funds, more than $2.2 million in grant monies is awarded annually to local nonprofits and students to promote education, health and wellness, self-sustainability, recreation, and more. Recently accredited with the National Standards for U.S. Community Foundations for having the highest standards for philanthropic excellence, the Central Susquehanna Community Foundation is here for you. For good, forever. Yannick Real Estate is your hometown full-service real estate office located at 1232 West Front Street, Berwick. They specialize in residential, commercial, and land listings and property management services. The associates of Yannick Real Estate work with a sincere desire to fulfill all of your real estate needs. Our mission is to be there for you 100% through the entire process and leave a lasting impression of a job well done. Come and make yourself at home at Yannick Real Estate. Plan now to attend the 163rd Annual Bloomsburg Fair. Gates open at 2 p.m. on Preview Day, Friday, September 21st. Enjoy the incredible nightly entertainment all week long. Get your tickets at bloomsburgfair.com or charge by phone. Call 570-387-4145 for the Toyota Grandstand Pavilion Ticket Office. Don't miss the fairy tale adventure in the Horticulture Building. It's guaranteed to be a fair to remember. It's the 163rd Annual Bloomsburg Fair, September 21st through the 29th. Details on Facebook or at bloomsburgfair.com. All right, the first game of the 2018 high school football season for our coverage is in the books. Burrick wins this one 42 to nothing over Abington Heights. First half highlights include the, or second half highlights actually include the very first play. The Abington Heights Comets kick it off and it is picked up after a moment by uh, number uh, 16, Aiden Mason, who thought somebody else was going to pick it up, but eventually it just rolled to him. He grabs the ball, does a few fancy moves, avoids a tackle right there, and avoids another tackle right there, and then he is off to the races. And it is Aiden Mason with a 93-yard touchdown on the opening kickoff of the second half. So he is off to the races, and he's just a freshman. Taking a look at a few of plays from uh, Abington Heights. They put a couple of nice drives together. They just couldn't quite finish it. Here you've got uh, George Tinsley, quarterback, getting a screen out to uh, number nine, Connor Newman, for a nice completion, moving the ball forward. Tinsley again, looking. Screens this time to the left, tipped up in the air, but caught by number 14, Corey Perkins, for a nice completion. Comet's still working the ball. This is third quarter action. George Tinsley right here looking downfield. Goes across the middle. Makes the connections to Robbie Horvath, who moves the ball forward just enough to move the chains. Gets a first down on that one. Mm -hmm. 
We switch sides. And it is uh, George Tinsley here again. With the ball on the 29-yard line. And a little misdirection there, but a catch by Horvath. Gets them closer. But from the five-yard line, right here, it is Tinsley going for the end zone. And number seven, Tegan Wilk, steps in front of it, makes the interception, and keeps Abton Heights off the scoreboard. And that was their best chance all game, other than the uh, first half, uh, the last play of the first half, which they had a touchdown catch, but it touched the ground, and it was negated. Here we go with a nice play by uh, Alex Force from the 35-yard line. He lets this one fly all the way down to Alex Sharkusky at the 30-yard line. Massive completion. And then just a little while later, it is freshman Aiden Mason getting the handoff. He works through traffic, and he gets his second touchdown of his Berwick High School football career. And that puts Berwick way out in front. Final touchdown of the game came on this play. It was number 19, Peyton Williams, in for Alexander Force. 130 to go in the game, basically, and he goes seven or eight yards, spins in for the touchdown, and that is the final score, 42-0, with Berwick coming away with their first win of the season. All right, some stats for you. Uh, rushing yards, Abington Heights had uh, 14 yards on 31 carries. Berwick had 209 yards rushing on 27 carries. Passing-wise, a uh, total of 155 passing yards for Abington Heights, 17 for 29. And Berwick went 7 for 13 for 93 passing yards. Uh, Berwick also had five penalties, which cost them 55 yards. We'll have to work on that for the next game. Individual stats, it was Noah Braid for Abington Heights, getting 42 yards on 20 carries. Berwick's Owen Shoemaker got 131 yards on the game and a touchdown over 18 carries. Tegan Wilk got a touchdown and uh, 33 yards on two carries. And Aiden Mason uh, carried the ball twice for 24 yards, and he got a touchdown or two on that one. Uh, Receiving-wise, Robbie Horvath for Abington Heights went 6 for 54. Mike Malone, 5 for 58. Corey Perkins, 3 for 24. Berwick's Tegan Wilk went 3 for 11. Alex Sharkusky caught 2 for 51 yards. Will Decker caught 1 for 19. Justin Roberts caught 1 for 12. In the end, it's Berwick going 1-0 on the season. They win this one 42-0 over Abington Heights. We will see them again next week when Berwick take on the Pittston Patriots right here back at Crispin Field. So then, thanks for watching. We will see you again after later. This Atlantic Broadband Channel 10 Sports presentation has been brought to you by Century 21 Cover Bridges Realty Incorporated. Featuring award-winning agents ready to sell or list your home or business and serving Columbia, Montour, and Lower Luzerne Counties. The Central Susquehanna Community Foundation, a regional philanthropic organization whose mission is quality of life in the Central Susquehanna Valley and achieving donors' intentions. First Columbia Bank and Trust. Does it really make a difference where you bank? It does if your bank makes a difference. First Columbia Bank with you and your children every step of the way. The 163rd Annual Bloomsburg Fair. Gates open at 2 p.m. on preview day, Friday, September 21st. Toyota Grandstand tickets for all shows available at bloomsburgfair.com. The Bloomsburg Fair, September 21st through 29th. Yannick Real Estate, your hometown full-service real estate office located in Berwick, specializing in residential, commercial, land listings, and property management services and by Atlantic Broadband, your television, internet, and phone provider for the greater Berwick and Western Poconos as well as portions of Schuylkill County. Find out about the exciting Atlantic Broadband services available to you at AtlanticBB.com. <laughs>